For the cheapest, fastest, most reliable muck coins on the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. Welcome back, Money Team. This is Mad Money Shot. Sniff of the Mad Cheese, as always. Got an offense for you guys today out of my Raiders offensive ebook that I just put out about two weeks ago. I'm still putting out a lot of content for it. I've only got two ebooks out on offense. I got the Niners and the Raiders. I really don't know which one's my favorite because, to be honest with you, they both have their, very sh their fair share of very glitchy plays, including this game I'm going to show you guys today. So, today I'm going to show you an offense that I think I put out first maybe two years ago when the game came out. And later on that year, I'm pretty sure that the guy that won the Madden Challenge Championship mostly use this exact formation out of the Raiders. So that just goes to show you how good this formation is. But today I'm only going to show you a couple plays. So if you want to see a full breakdown of this offense, you can either check that out on my Patreon or check that out on my eBooks. All that links in the description below. Or you can hit the like button and let me know in the comment section. And I'll probably put this out a full breakdown on an upcoming Saturday, which is typically what I like to do. The longer version videos on Saturdays or Sundays when people are home. Uh, hit the like button and let me know in the comment section if you guys want to see that. The formation itself is the wing flex close. And it's, you know, it's got a ton of really good plays. One of my favorite plays is definitely the four verticals. I'm going to put these into my audibles like I always do. I would say the drive wide corner would definitely be one that I would keep. Uh, the four verticals, which is a play I'm going to start, start off with, that's definitely one that I would have as well. And then the last pass play would probably be the smash. That's going to be one of the better ones. But we're definitely going to start off with the four verticals. So let's go and let's pick that first. On the defensive side, we're going to start off with cover two zone. Like we typically do and work our way back through the zone coverages. As always, this video is brought to you by my coin sponsor at AOEAH.com. If you guys want to get your mutt team up and support this channel at the same time, all you have to do is click the link in the description and check them out. Make sure you use code MONEY to get 3% off what's already the cheapest coins on the market. With this play, you can really make a couple of different motions. You can, on every play, you can either motion out this guy here, which I typically don't do. I typically motion out the receiver side because there's more explosive players on that side. But this is pretty much all I have to do is put these guys on streaks on the inside. You can even leave them, honestly. You don't even have to change the uh, the routes that they're on, especially against cover two. But against cover three, you definitely want to get in the habit of putting these inside guys on streaks. And then this is going to be it. You just motion out rugs here, which is something that... Um, once he gets past this cornerback, it's going to have a lot of success. Now, I don't know what happened. That pass lead really slowed down the trajectory of that throw. Maybe you have to move the ball over a little bit just to get there. I mean, you definitely always want to run it from a hash mark. That's always going to be the best practice. Run it from a hash mark to the open side of the field. That will give you the best results. But without a doubt, I mean, now I'll probably have a little bit more room to pass lead because that last throw really just died. The second I left my dude's hand, what was that pass rush right there? And we're still getting bad pass leads. I don't know it's because that uh, pass rush was so ferocious. The running back, you don't really need the running back. I like the running back. He's a really good check down, but you don't really need the running back doing that. If you feel like you need more blocking, uh, there's a number of adjustments you can make. I mean, I could motion this guy across because that defensive end really went through that left tackle. I could motion him across, have him double team on that side. I mean, there's a number of things uh, that I could do because I don't really need to even motion this guy out. You can see right here, Henry Ruggs with it. I don't know. He just he just glitched. He, that was a glitch in the matrix right there. I don't even know what happened as he just completely froze the defender after the catch. But you can see you don't even have to make that motion motion to have success so this play here i still find you know you can just streak everybody there the pass lead is not as big of a deal as you can see look at this man. i'm just making this guy i'm just making this guy get cut from the league we're making moves like this against them but you can see it's a really explosive play at the very least you get that one-on-one -on -one. i want to run past this guy though so i don't know if this is something that ea patched because like i said i put this out so long ago that you know maybe they did something to to make to mess with the accuracies here but you can see if you make that motion there he was just wide open there was no Nothing um, even close to him. The safety wasn't even close. Against cover three, once again, I got my option as far as of whether or not I want to motion this guy out. The only real adjustment I have to make is I have to put the B route here on a fade, and you have to run it from the hash mark. Those are the only two things. I'm going to block my running back, although, like I say, he's a really good check down against cover three. And you can see that this uh, this receiver here just gets right over the top of the cover three cornerback. Very easy. Like I said, you could you know do two different variations. You can motion him out. If you want to, I'll go ahead and I'll go to the replay. The reason this works is because these, these I don't want to call them wheel routes, or they kind of are. They're like small, wheel, mini wheel routes. They don't really go as long as a traditional wheel route does from like a running back. But you can see how these cornerbacks have to react. They have to kind of split between the two. And that's why this guy here just gets right going up the seam. And I don't know, for whatever reason, the safety typically turns his attention away from this particular receiver. But depending on what the safety does, you could really bomb it up on either side. So just keep that in mind. Uh, he's turning his attention 
there because I ran a fade on this side and a streak on this side. So if you ran streaks on both sides, you can really throw to either one. But if you run a fade, a streak on one, which gets up the field faster than the fade, that's why this has success. So just keep that in mind. So like I said, right here, we'll do we'll do both. We'll put them both on uh, on regular streaks. Although I'm messing everything up. Put them both on regular streaks and you'll see, I mean, well, number one, the safety on this side is starting closer to Waller, but you can see he still made it through. So it really depends, I guess, on where you run it on the field or what type of tight end you have. Like if I run it from the other side, if I run from just like center of the field, say, let's go and let's run it right from the middle. It's really helpful to know that you can get both of these receivers gone if need be. And then once again, like I said, you're really just like, if I make that motion, that safety might pay more attention to the other side you really just have to pay attention to where that safety is. It's really that simple. He was closer to the tight end, so I went the other way. It's really that easy. It's a simple play. It destroys cover three, destroys cover two. So now we're in a cover one man. Now you can see how these, these streaks in the center at the A and the B route really just go right towards that cover one safety. I'm going to leave that alone. We're going to run it just like this. Like I said, that, that running back is still a really good check down, but you can see how this receiver here basically just gets right past the cornerback. It helps to have a guy like Henry Ruggs running that. I have been using the same receivers this entire time, uh, but I think if we flip it we might get that we might get that switch so now we have zay jones running it who's not a very good receiver in madden let's see how he does as he's going to get right past that cornerback as well although obviously here the throw is a little bit behind so you can see he's behind him is the bottom line i didn't really have a lot of success we will do that again like i said he got past that's the bottom line if you get past you're going to win the play so let's go and let's run this one more time like i said he's just gonna he's gonna get up the field past the receiver and then you just need a good throw which i'm not sure if i have but you can see boom we get it right there so zay jones below average receiver he's still beating the defense the same way if you have a cover zero you obviously can't run this play as is you're gonna need a little bit more blocking so i would say blocking the running back or the tight end it's really up to you maybe put the rb route on a drag because the receivers are going to be all you need is one of them should have a lot of success you can see right here this guy just runs right past the safety that's because typically safeties are not very good in man coverage let's go ahead and let's flip that play get it going to the other side and do the exact same thing you're going to see same thing different safety same result he just gets inside float it up typically to beat man coverage is really simple you just have to float it up uh, and run under the ball so the four verticals you see it beats cover two cover three zone uh man blitz man one man zero any one of those defenses as long as it's not man cover two so that play right there beats just about every single defense in the game uh cover six cover nine things like that you know different coverages typically have a cover two side on it so you can attack that the only thing we really didn't show anything for was cover four so we have a couple of plays that can have a lot of success against cover four the drive wide corner and the smash both can work so we put both of them in our audibles let's go and let's pick the drive wide corner we're just going to basically show both on this next play and then we're going to go with the cover four drop contain which is probably the most popular cover four so for this play against cover four you really have multiple looks here the smash will work against cover four and the drive wide corner will work against cover four all you have to do is streak uh the route next to the uh, the corner route so the you know on this play we just streak the x route on the original play we just streak the rb route we're going to be attacking the corner route pretty much every time which is going to be a big cover four play as you can see right here we can just basically get outside of that because those outside safeties just don't react very well so you really have two plays and the reason i bring that up is because the user typically is going to be a bigger issue than the actual zone coverage of the defense so if you want to go to the other side if you see your user cheating to one side or the other you basically can just tack the other side you don't have to make really any adjustments other than choosing another play and this is going to be the same pretty much any zone coverage. Now, the A route's a really good man beater as well. Um, this particular play is probably more loaded with man beaters. But I just wanted to show how against just about any defense you can do this. So we'll go ahead and we'll do that. We're going to back out and switch to random. So now we're in random. We don't even have to know what the defense is. We can basically attack both sides of the field. This is looking like it's definitely a cover two. Maybe it was a cover four quarters. I'm not really sure. But it's going to be the same read. These two routes are going to beat just about every defense. So let's go ahead and let's switch over to the smash. I'm not even reading the defense. I'm just doing I'm, I don't have to it's basically these plays are very similar too by the way as you can see you have your same check downs with the drag and the 10 yard in route on both so it's basically the exact same play but you're just flipping it to the point where um you know one side is the receivers running it one side the tight ends are running it and it's just something that you can go both sides of the field and your opponent's never really going to have any success stopping these plays that looked like it might have been a cover four quarters might have been a man coverage it doesn't really matter you can see the play works on both sides so that's really the point of these two plays they're pretty much the same i feel like the a route is probably the best man beater of the bunch as you can see right here 
here. I mean, that was just a, a little bit of a bad throw as the, the, the tight end, the receiver kind of ran into one another. But if you're, if you're noticing a little bit more man coverage than anything else, the A-Route probably is the best man coverage. And it doesn't really matter because they're still having a lot of success. So you can definitely get some one-play touchdowns out of this as well especially when it comes to the smash um i'll show some one play touchdowns for that in a second but as far as you know just your typical um you know just running this against anything you see it's going to be success i have no idea what the defense is right now it really doesn't matter but the smash does have a one play touchdown against cover three so let's go and let's pick that we'll end the video with another cover three one play touchdown we're going to pick the cover three sky we will have to run this from the open side of the field that'll be the only thing got to run it from a hash mark and then you just have to streak the uh, the X route. Streak the X route, I'll block on running back, motion this guy here out, put him on a streak, and then put the A route on a streak, and that's all you have to do. The X route, you can put him on a fade. I actually think the fade's a little bit better, but it doesn't really matter, as you're gonna see, this guy here's just gonna get open right over the top of, the, I, was, I don't know what happened there, I guess I got pressured, uh, but you can see he was over the top of that of that uh, cornerback, which is all that really matters. So we'll slide a protection left block on running back this time here, if that pressure comes in. Uh, it shouldn't be as much of an issue. I said motion this guy out the motion won't look strange because we've made a lot of motions in this formation so we're going to do this one more time like i said that x right there that cornerback just doesn't know who to react to and it's just a really easy one play touchdown this is something i've put out on multiple formations so i'm gonna go ahead and end the video there if you guys want to see more videos like this do me a favor hit the like button let me know in the comment section other than that thanks for watching man my shit out need more help or just want to show your support then head over to my patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my vids and more link in the description below Thank you.